I got five hoes up on my mind. Give me some time and I'll make you mine. I got three words. Do you love me? It's so easy to see, but so hard to believe, yeah. Yo, what's up guys? Keon here. Hope all is well and welcome back to another video on the channel. In this video, I'm going to be releasing my new OBS recording settings along with my Sony Vegas render settings that will give a clean motion blur in your videos. These settings give the best quality OBS can give and at the same time, keeping your in-game FPS pretty high. Oh yeah, also before I show my settings, a lot of them are from the special Discord server that literally have the best settings possible. Um, I did tweak some of the settings but most of the credit is to that server regardless. It's crazy, it's, it literally has the best render settings people ever but yeah a uh, huge credit to that server for giving me a lot of these render settings now since we got that away let's get right into today's video all right guys the first thing you guys want to do is head over to obs and every time you want to open up obs you want to make sure you open up as an administrator it helps you with your fps a lot and it helps a lot with the encoding lag all right so once obs loads up you want to go to view go to docs and go to stats and you want to make sure you have this pretty much this helps you uh, make sure your encoding lag isn't too high and you always want to make sure these two are under 0.2 all the time and it helps a lot with the renders all right so when you go over to settings the main points are an output recording and you want to change the output mode to um from simple to advanced uh recording format always mp4 uh audio track is one encoder this is a really big part you want to make sure you're using the nvidia nvink h.264 encoder make sure it's a new one because that one it barely impacts your um, in-game fps at all while giving a really good quality all right for rate control out of these four you want to use cqp and basically this is between 0 and 30 and the higher it is the lower quality the video is so um i would recommend 15 around 15 or something there um the highest i would say is you go 18 and the lowest probably like 14 basically 15 is a really good middle point and it doesn't impact your fps at all and it has really good quality i personally use 13 but um that's because i'm obsessed with quality I i'm gonna be honest i really don't see a big quality difference between 15 and 13 i keep it at 13 since it works for me but um you guys can use 15 i 99 of people use 15 so you're good to go on that for keyframe interval you want to put that at zero preset max performance always max performance it really lags a lot if it's not on max performance profile high look ahead psycho visual tuning um for psycho visual tuning you can check that out um, if it helps you or not, it's it's a gimmicky one. You wanna like you wanna do test renders and see if it helps you with your encoding lag and it keeps it down from 0.2. But yeah, I just have it off since I don't see a difference. For GPU and max B frames at zero. Okay, for audio, um, basically for sample rate, you can put 48 kilohertz, but it gives less, uh, it gives more encoding lag and 44.1 kilohertz um puts less. And I just have it 44 since I'm recording on really high. But normally I would use 48, but 44 is a really good one. It it barely changes your audio at all. So yeah, I use 44.1 kilohertz for my audio. Okay, so for video, most people report in 1080p, and if you don't, then use 720p. But this is pretty much your monitor's um your monitor's resolution, and then your output keep at the same thing as your monitor or like the same thing as the top one. For downscale filter, you want to use Billionaire; it's the best one for sure for Minecraft renders. And then for um the FPS, this is where the motion blur comes in a lot more, and you want to switch it from common FPS values to fashionable FPS value. And for the denominator, always keep it one, so then the numerator is the FPS. And for numerator, I would say keep it above 120 because that's where the motion blur is. So keep it around like 120, 144, at least up, at least that, and that's when you will get the motion blur. I would recommend like 300, at, like you know, if you really want motion blur. A lot of people do five. 140 and i used to do that too but i don't see a big difference like there is a difference but 360 is really fine for me and i'm fine with that so see so yeah, the general rule of thumb is just to keep this above 120 and you'll have motion blur all right for advanced um process priority i was using below normal before and it didn't turn out right as soon as i started using 13 cqp so this is kind of a gimmick one you want to test out which one's best for you um you should probably start with below normal since idle is kind of like idle it's not really good but um yeah if it you know obviously try out all of them but most likely just try from below normal most likely you'll get your good result from below normal for render direct 3d 11 for color format nv12 color space 601 and partial it helps a lot with encoding encoding lag and it looks pretty good so all right so that's going to be it for the obs settings next thing you want to do is head over to sony vegas where you can edit your video and render it out as smooth as possible all right guys i have vegas open up and i'm gonna enter a um sample clip right here what you want to do is head over to preview on the on the settings gear area and you pretty much want to put these settings in. You want to put 1280 by 720. These aren't the renders. It's just how your preview is going to look like. And usually um, you want to keep this at 30 or 60. I'm fine with 60. I just have it 30 for now. But um, keep this at 30. Basically it helps you with the encoding lag. Like the preview lag. So when you're, when you're editing it's less laggier. 
to edit with pretty much copy all this field order make sure it's none that's really important pixel square a thousand or one I, I said that's a thousand but make sure it's one square of uh, resolution quality put best for motion blur type box none and this is really important too put none and smart restart put on that's what helps you really get the motion blur it, it turns it on all right so you want to press apply and then press okay and your quality uh your preview should look pretty good all right the last thing for sony vegas it's pretty much um when you want to render it out you just drag that out and basically you want to go to render or you can go to file render as or click that little icon up there but um basically you want to go to magix avc slash aac slash uh, mp4 and you don't have to you can find a random a, a random template over here and customize it you can do um customize template and i'm gonna show you guys how it looks like so when you do customize template um you want to put 1920 by 1080 p that's what you're rendering out unless you're doing 720p renders but that's not most people so for profile put high frame rate put exactly 60 and for not and for field order put non but pretty much keep these um at the same thing two pass encoding is very extra it helps it, like it makes it a lot more smoother but it's not needed at all it's just extra i have enabled okay so if you want your renders to look much better and render much faster you want to use the nv encoder uh main constant a avc is basically rendering off your cp which is much slower so keep this at nv encoder if you have it for preset believe at default rc mode vbr for audio put these settings 48,000 and 384,000 and make sure it's on include audio for system keep it at default for project put best i don't know why i have it but yeah just put it best all right so a lot of you guys are probably wondering why i'm rendering out my videos at 1080p because a lot of people know that my videos in 1080 in my in youtube looks really bad so what you want to do for that is basically um you want to upscale your video not by sony vegas because sony vegas lags that out sony vegas upscales your video wrong by not making it as good as the quality it was so what you want to do is use FFM and MedPeg. I don't have to say it, but you want to use that to upscale your videos. Um, I'm not going to go into that too much because that's a lot of work and I'm kind of lazy. But I'll leave some videos in the description and some timestamps and show you guys how to get this. But pretty much once you render out your video on 1080p 60fps, edit it and everything, you want to drag this into this folder and then you can do 4k.bat. If I click that, it will start rendering out using my GPU. I'm not going to do that. And it'll come out as video and convert it. Okay, guys. So that's pretty much it for my render settings. If you guys did like the video, make sure to drop a like down below. It helps me out a ton. If you haven't already, subscribe if you're new and tap on bell notifications to be alerted for future videos. Comment down below if you guys need help with anything or if you guys want to join my Discord server. It's much more easier to help you guys out there. So follow my Twitter, Twitch, and join my Discord server in the description to see more of me. And other than that, guys, I'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace out, guys.